lungs were throbbing and heavy, and his left arm was stinging from the shoulder right down to his wrist. Besides that, seven laps in, and the water was still freezing cold, and if he wanted to be honest about it, he felt foolish. A goose pimple, graceless thing, flapping about frantically, desperately trying to keep pace with the mermaid in the next lane. She was at least half a lap ahead of him, though he hadn't been able to keep track of her at all while he was swimming. Every time he tried to find her while he was catching a breath, she'd be completely out of range. But he could see her now, now that he was grabbing on the side of the pool. He watched her back stretching, watched how she seemed to ride the water. Her arm came up over the ear and <coughs> slid back over the surface soundlessly, effortlessly. Now she touched the opposite wall and was heading back towards him. And he watched as she changed her stroke, her head coming up and then submerging again in a burst of energy. 